Yo, what's going down, brothers? Brother Stevani is here. Command Center Wargaming. Fantastic. So we got some Baal Blood Angels shadigans going down with the Blood of Baal Psychic Awakening. We've got a new trailer. Let's check that out right now. So I'm just going to reload that guy because I was watching it before. It's looking good. Yeah. Awesome voiceover. Epic voiceover. It's awesome, you've got that like, psychic electricity going on there in his hood. It's really cool. Where's his arm? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. Uh, okay. Nice and polished there, Games Workshop. Good job. Well, I'm excited for that one. Uh, I love the Blood Angels. I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, once again, I think the art could have been a lot better. Sorry about the downer, guys, but... <laughs> It sticks out like a sore thumb. Anyway, we've also got the Christmas boxes as well. Now, I haven't done a video on the Christmas boxes yet. I will be. Um, I will go through these in more detail in another video. But essentially, just quickly, we've got Space Wolves, Blood Angels, Tower Empire. There's no real big secret here. Um, it's The news has been out for a while. Chaos Space Marines box, uh, Jakari, Tyranids. And we've got some Epic Age of Sigma stuff, Battle Forces going on, Night Hunt, the Stormcast Eternals, Skaven, Gloomspire Gits. All right, so stay tuned to the channel for uh, for my review of those. I'll be going through, having a look at the pricing, basically having a look to see, um, you know, the value of the boxes and things like that. So it should be good. I was actually going to do it in this video, uh, but then obviously I wanted to take a look at the new trailer. I think it's looking good. I really hope Tyranids going to get new stuff. I really, really hope Tyranids are going to get new stuff. Um, I haven't read through any of this yet, so we'll go through it together. Um, yeah, look... I'm hoping for some new models for Tyranids because I've got about 6,000 points worth of Tyranids and um, I really like playing Tyranids. Like, I always lose when I play them, but I just always have fun playing Tyranids. It's just a really fun side to play. Um, they're a tough side too. I think it's just, that's just my fault. That's just because, you know, I haven't really mastered the stratagems yet of being able to win with Tyranids. So they're a really good side. They're competitive too. So anyway, let's take a look. Let's dive into this. I'll buckle up. It's almost time for some Chris Masson. Clever, I like it. Next weekend, we're bringing you a host of goodies for a game, Warhammer 40,000 and Warhammer Age of Sigma. So next weekend already. Wow. Kicking off December with new battle forces, the Psychic Awakening and more. Here's what you'll be able to pre-order next weekend. All right. Fantastic. So, looking to start a new army this Christmas or just to give your Warhammer playing friends or family the perfect gift, look no further than a battle force. These jam-packed box sets are filled with models, all for less than you pay by getting the kits separately. That's what I love about these battle forces. Now's the time to buy. And uh, if you know some sites that do discounts and stuff like that, you could get even more of a discount. Um, this year, we've got Battle Forces on offer for Chaos Space Marines, Yukari, Blood Angels, Tyranid, Space Wolves, Tower Empire. I've already gone through that. Um, and even Adeptus Titanicus Knights. So it looks like... Oh, there you go. I missed that. So there's a Battle Force for Titanicus. That's really cool. Let's have a look at that. 
like the problem is I, I want to get into Titanicus, but the problem is I just don't know really that many people to play it. Um, that's just the problem. I've been very close to getting into it a few times. Um, but yeah, so there we go. So it looks like you just get a whole bunch of knights and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. But I would have liked to have seen like an actual Titan, like a larger Titan, or even like a Warhound or something like that. So anyway, let's have a look at the Psychic Awakening Blood of Bar. We've seen the trailer. Now let's see what GW have to say. Who wears red comes down your chimney and punishes the naughty? Why, Mephiston attacking our manufactorum full of traitors of curse. Of course. <laughs> Sorry. Next weekend, we'll turn our gaze to Bar's place in the Psychic Awakening with a new campaign supplement and a stunning new rendition of the Lord of Death. Loving the model. Gonna get it. Gonna get a Blood Out Angels battle box. Gonna finish my other Blood Angels. Might even head down to a game workshop store, have a few games of them. Um... Blood Angels are, are, are an army of mine. I really like Blood Angels. I love the, the Thunder Hammer Terminators as well. Uh, you know, chuck a, chuck a priest in there. Woohoo, yeah. So, this, and a chaplain. Mm -hmm. This book is part, so this is now the book, the Psychic Awakening Blood of Bar book now I'm talking about. Uh, this book is part lore, part double prong codex update. That's a really good way to do it, GW. I like it. So, it's basically kind of like, this is the way... It looks like they're going to be doing, um, you know, sort of like updating the other Marines that weren't part of the Space Marine Codex and stuff. So I like this. Um, inside, you'll see the Blood Angels face the Tyranids once more as they part of their, uh, sorry, as part of their desperate ongoing defense of their homeworld. This is still going on. This has been going on for years. <laughs> I remember 7th edition Blood of Baal. I've got the books there. Um, great expansion pack, though. That was when they first bought out the uh, Terminator Captain, and then they released him as a separate, separate set later. Um, so, new and updated data sheets give your Blood Angel access to extra army rules. Yes, thank you. That's what we want. Vanguard units, stratagems, psychic powers, litanies, and more. There's even some extra stuff for Flesh Terror fans. That's good to see. Ideal if you like your Blood Angel successors extra bloody. All right, here we go. And Nids, I want to see some... That's not all. The Tyranids are getting some very exciting updates to help you bring this army to life on the tabletop as never before. Extra bio artifacts allow you to create particularly notable gribbles armed with unique and terrifying weapons. A suit of stratagems let you change your strategy on the battlefield to better hunt your prey. You'll even be able to build your own high fleet with your choice of traits. And that's not all. Please, just, just one new unit. Come on. Adaptive Physiology is a new system bespoke of the Pyrenees. Uh, the Pyrenees. The Tyranids. Sorry. It's been a long day, guys. Um, that lets you represent the myriad adaptions of the Great Devourer. Arcana effects with Synapse. A pack of camouflage Tyranid warriors. It's all possible thanks to the Psychic Awakening. And we'll be previewing these systems in more depth soon. So stay tuned. Looking forward to it. Just who could stand before such a tide of horrors? We can think of no no one better than Mephiston, the Lord of Death. Reborn again, after crossing the Rubicon Primaris, the new Mephiston is an exemplar of the terrifying grace of blood angels, not to mention a great presentation piece for a painter. Certainly is. Looks great. Love the model. I've done a video on this already before, so I'm not going to go too crazy. Chapter Proved 2019, this is going to be good. Whatever Warhammer 40k army you play, you want to get a copy of this year's Chapter Proved, the essential annual update for all gamers of the 41st millennium. This year, we've separated Chapter Proved into two bundled books for your convenience. And extra money, of course, Games Workshop. Man, convenience? I don't know, like, convenience, carrying more books around? That doesn't sound too convenient to me. I'd prefer to have my chapter improved in one book. Let's check it out. So, try new missions and ways to play the chapter proved 2019 itself. Then build your match playlist with the Monetarium Field Manual, a reference guide with points for everything currently in Warhammer 40,000. The Field Manual doesn't just contain updated points, but unchanged ones too, meaning you only have to look in one place when writing your lists. But I have to buy two chapter approved. What? Oh man, guys, for real. So 
Zombie Dad was saying the other day, he said, look, Steve's like, sorry I haven't been commenting too much, but he said he's a bit down with, like, the pricing and that, you know, and I am too. I mean, I'm, I'm keeping it all going, being optimistic, but this is ridiculous. Why would I need to buy two books and then you're going to say that, like, it's easier for me? <sighs> nah, sorry, guys. Uh, oh, well, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm probably going to give that one a miss. Um, I'm not going to be buying two separate books for, you know, for, for the rules like that. Because I play matched play. And you're saying that, like, yeah, nah, nah, I'm not going to be doing that. Nah. So, Kill Team Annual 2019. Love Kill Team. Then make sure you get yourself the Kill Team Annual 2019. This rules supplement is, like, chapter proof, but for Kill Team, bringing together points, updates, content previously only written, uh, printed in White Dwarf, and brand new rules for another... Great year of skirmish gaming. Try the Adeptus Sororitas gear up your Heretic Astartes with new guns. Forge a narrative with Dungeons and Missions. This gaming toolbox is packed with resources that'll make your battles more fun however you prefer to play. Well, at least it's just one book. So I guess I'll have to update that too. Uh, pre order your, your new models, Battle Forces, and books next weekend and make sure you subscribe to the Games Workshop newsletter for the latest updates delivered right to your inbox. All right, fantastic. So that's in the news this week. Um, I must say, look, I'm a little bit disappointed, guys, in this chapter approved being split. Um, I think that, you know, it's a bit of a dig uh, having, you know, two books when it could have just been one book and then trying to sell it off as an easier thing when it's not because I find maybe bookmarking a page where the points start uh, a lot easier and, and logistically as well than carrying around two books. Uh, not to mention that I guarantee that chapter proved isn't going to be much cheaper or any cheaper. So it's just another excuse for Games Workshop to sell more stuff, I suppose. I'm not a fan of it, I've got to be honest. Sorry, I don't want to be negative, but I'm just being honest. Love the Mephisto model. Hopefully it's 70 AUD. I still think it's too much. I'll probably get it anyway. Any more than that, I, I don't think I can justify it. Um, I'll just use the old one. And um, Tyranids, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more, to be honest. A few new units. Um, but it's good that they're going through the rules update anyway. And, I mean, the trailer looks okay. You know, art could be a bit better. But, you know, it looks good. Voiceover was really good. This is interesting. But I think that we could have had some actual... Uh, you know, at least a Warhound or a, you know, you know, in here or a Reaver in this box. Um, yeah. And the highlight of this would probably have to be the Battle Boxes. And, you know, they're looking good. Currently, right now, I've got my eyes on the Blood Angels one. Um, also, well, actually, I'll be honest with you. All of them are really good, to be honest. Um, I don't know if I can afford to buy all of them. Uh... But, yeah, they're pretty damn good. Uh, even the Tyranid one. But look, we'll get to that in another video. Um, all in all, look, guys, we're getting new models. It's pretty fantastic. No Primark as of yet. Things have been pretty quiet on the Primark front as of late, as far as I know. But I still am convinced we're going to be getting the Lion coming out really soon, if not just for 30k. Um, but, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. Anyway, everybody, fantastic. Thank you for watching. And if you're in the Warhammer, uh, subscribe to the, the channel uh, for all Warhammer updates and gaming and sci-fi and all that kind of stuff. And uh, very special thanks to all my subscribers. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Fantastic. I think it will be... I've got two more videos planned come out. One is a Games Workshop pricing video, which I which I actually did up ages ago, but it stuffed up 10 times when my mic stuffed up and I, and I, I, I couldn't upload it. Um, and I'm going to do that especially for Zombie Dad. And um, the other one is obviously the battle boxes here, these Xmas boxes, which I'm going to go through. And uh, we'll do a little bit of a talk about that, a little bit of a re review about that. I've held off on it a little bit, and that's because I've just wanted to see, like, you know, if the rumors have been true of the pricing and things like that. I want to wait for an official announcement for Games Workshop. As far as I know, they haven't announced the prices. Uh, I'll have to double check. I haven't looked tonight, but as far as I know, um, we don't know the prices yet. But if we do, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, fantastic, everybody. I'll catch you in the next video. Keep rolling. Brother Stavanius out.